holy Toledo, you guys. So I have like probably 15 vinyl that I've gotten since, I don't know, a few months ago, and I am going to share it with you. So I'm gonna show you the ones that I've done in my videos that were like the previous ones. There's always a train every time I try to film. Oh, Alright, so the first one that I recently got is Bright Eyes. You guys saw this one, I got it from my friend Jacob. Um, my favorite off of this one is either Lua or First Day of My Life. And this pressing's just black, it's nothing too schnazzy. The next one I have is City and Colors If I Should Go Before You. This one is the last one I need to complete my City and Color. City in color discography, if you will. Yeah, it's just black, two LPs, 180 grams, very schnazzy. And the next one I have is McCafferty and Heart Attack Man Split. This is very cool. I got this from my friend Evan. It's very pretty. I have yet to play it. I'm gonna very soon. And this one I'm hella stoked about. I got Tiny Moving Parts' new album Swell from Chris, and it is signed. It's beautiful. And it's a tour variant that sold out because everyone kept buying it while they were on tour and they sold out of it like right away. Like, do you see this? This is freaking beautiful. I love it. And this one also has like this huge book thing in it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I don't know if it comes with any of the other pressings, but... And this one is kind of random. One of my friends got it for me. It's just like a... I don't know how to describe it, but it's out of 200 and it's red. <sighs> There's a dog hair. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. I've listened to it once and it's interesting. Probably not something I would get at a record store. I'm not really sure who it is, but it's like nice little relaxing music and it's kind of cool. All right, here's all the new ones. Okay, so I ordered a seven inch from someone. They sent me like a free one, I guess. This is The Mites and the album's called Bellows. I've actually never heard of it. It's just a cute little black one. Um, I'm not sure. They're with Close Quarters Record. It seems interesting. It's very cool. Yeah, hopefully I'll listen to it soon if I get the chance. And then the one that I actually bought from this guy that I got the free one with. I'm so happy. I just talked about sports in one of my previous videos. And this is Sports and Meet Me in Montauk's Split. Oh my god. I didn't even know this existed until I was just browsing and I was like hmm I know both those bands and a split would be pretty freaking cool it's just black but yeah if you guys don't know Mimi and Montauk they're very good I say that about every freaking band but yeah I just told you about sports so if you want some new music meet me in Montauk or sports this album is called Highway to Shell get it turtle shell Okay, you guys, in this next one, I am so excited about. Okay, this band is called Attic Basement. I have been looking for like a vinyl by them forever, but it, they, it just doesn't exist. And then I was just like scrolling through Facebook one day and I saw, they're like, oh, Attic Basement's pressing of dancing is depressing. And I was like, uh, yeah. So these guys are super interesting. And this vinyl is freaking, it's just super cool. Like, look at this, this is just, oh. It's a red with white bone splatter. These guys are interesting. If you don't know them, I'm gonna show you a little clip of a song. His voice reminds me of like a sad Brian Sella meets flat sound. So here's part of the song. Hopefully you can hear it. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. There's like weird guitars and the guy's super freaking weird, but I love it. So check out Attic Basement if you get the chance. I found them on YouTube probably like four years ago when I was just scrolling through and you know sometimes you just like click on recommended bands on the side and one of his singles was on there and I was like, hmm, this is pretty good. So Attic Basement. And next, oh, I have Hot Mulligan's Opportunities and I got this when I saw them on tour recently with Muckle Puck. This one's really cool. It's like a cloudy, translucent white, I guess. I've talked a lot about Hot Mulligan, so you guys already know my feelings about them. They're great. Opportunities. And this is out of 500. Yeah. Yeah. And then next I have Sitting Colors Little Hell. This one's freaking heavy. This is also two LPs and this is just black. I got this one from Michael. This might have been a long time ago, like when I got back from Oregon. Yeah, it's just black. 
it's pretty. You know I love City in Color because he's great. And then I got this one a while ago too. This is Turnover's Good Nature. I don't know, I love this album when it came out and then I started listening to it too much and then, I don't know, my feelings kind of changed about it. I don't know if I just got sick of it or it just all was very repetitive to me. But the vinyl is really pretty. It's just like a white, a white. It's like a pink, red, I guess. I don't know, to me, Turnover's peripheral vision will always be number one. This album was still good. It just reminded me of if like Mac DeMarco had a baby or I don't know, all the songs just sounded super similar when I kept listening to it. I was like, hmm. I don't know, but it's it's still good. It's still very good. This one I was so pumped about. I found this in the used section and it was only like five dollars and it's pianos become the teeth and they're very great. I know some of my friends know who they are of them but they don't listen to them. They're signed with Top Shelf Records. This album is freaking, it's really good. And I thought this pressing was just super cool because I've never had like a, I don't know what color this is, like a mustard. Not a lot of people know of them and I don't know why, I don't know why they're not more popular. I know they're touring with, what's their name? What's their name? The World is a Beautiful Place, I think. I think. I really want to go see them, but I don't have any freaking friends that want to go see them. And then I have Dry Jackets for Posterity. I talked about them in one of my previous videos. Oh, they're so good. I love them. This pressing is really cool. So my camera died when I was recording that and I didn't get to show you guys Dry Jackets vinyl and it's one of my cooler ones. So I'm going to show you. Like, look at how cool it is. It's just beautiful. Like, oh. Mm. So onward. All right, the next one I have. Um, okay. The next one I have is Movements, Feel Something. This one came out and everyone was like freaking out about it. And I've liked Movements since I think three years ago I found them. And I really enjoy them. This pressing is very pretty. It's pink with green. I freaking love this album. Uh, yeah, listen to it. Movements, very bomb. God, I was so excited about this one. So this is Bon Iver's 10th anniversary pressing of For Emma Forever Ago. It's just black. I'm not gonna take it out because it's, I don't know if you can really like see the design on it, but I love this man to death. His music is amazing. Seeing him live was, I can't even like describe. Next I have Sufjan Stevens. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I've been listening to this album for a very long time, but I've never said the name because I don't understand how to pronounce it. But I think it's Sufjan Stevens, maybe? Correct me if I'm wrong. This is Carrie and Lowell. This pressing's just black, so I'm not gonna show you. But um, yeah, it is one of my favorite indie albums, I guess. A lot of great songs in this album. Fourth of July, of course, is one of my favorites. Everyone knows that one. He also has another song called Chicago, I think. Maybe I'll put a picture here if I see it, but yeah. Oh my Jesus, you guys. This one, Touche Either Amore or Touche More. Stage four. This one is very pretty and it's just a white pressing. There are like little specks of black in here, which is cool. You can't really see it, but I think they're actually recording something new right now. So I'm kind of pumped about it. And then the last one I have for you guys is Bunny Bear's Blood Bank. You know, my secret love for this man. Um, it's amazing. It's just black too. A lot of these pressings are just black. I'm sorry if this is super boring, but all right, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below if you got any new vinyl recently or what you want to see from me next because I don't know what to do. So make sure to subscribe if you aren't already and like this video and I'll see you guys soon. Peace kiddos.